Hey guys, it's Katie, and today we actually have a very special video. It's a Notebook Therapy Suki Bullet Journal Review, and I've never done one before, so hopefully this will turn out well, and without further ado, let's get started. The entire journal is vegan leather, which is really nice, and the color I chose was mint matcha, but it also comes as sakura pink. I'm gonna throw up a picture somewhere on the screen, and you can take a look. Um, the journal is five and a half by seven and a half inches or 13 by 19 centimeters. It's a little smaller than your A5 journal. It's a little more square, but like it's fine with me. So I'm going to use it for my 2020 planner. And, um, there are a bunch of really cool details like this shiny moon on the cover. And the thing that drew me to the journal in the first place was this gold border. It's so pretty, so pretty. And the Sakura pink has a... Um, rose gold border and it's super pretty there's white aesthetic text everywhere and on the back it says design in Tokyo which I thought was a nice touch and of course I got it dirty already because that's my life hopefully I won't get it any more dirty but considering it's me I'll probably end up accidentally spilling juice on it or something so moving on to the inside of the journal, of course it has an elastic, most journals do, it's pretty standard. But the pages are 160 GSM, which is really thick. And I'm excited to try some watercolor out on it. Stay tuned to find out how it turns out. And it has 128 pages. It's a really bright white. Think about like printer paper or computer paper. So if you're more of a off-white or a cream girl, or boy, maybe this isn't the journal for you, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm going to be using it anyways for my 2020 planner. The dots are 5mm apart, which are pretty standard, and they're a nice light gray. Oh wait, I forgot. Okay, so the most exciting thing is this back pocket, right? Just a normal back pocket. Nope, there's a freebie. It's a little sticker sheet with these sakuras, super cute, and I love me some freebies, it's the Asian in me, but these are super pretty. I'm gonna do an entire spread dedicated to these stickers, it'll be super cute. My Instagram is at lazyactesk if you want to check it out. And finally, there's this cute little quote in the back that says, meet me in the moonlight where thoughts are etched in the dusty sky. Next, we're going to be doing a little pen test to see if there's any ghosting any bleeding, and whether these pages can stand up to some watercolor. And since I think I mentioned this earlier, I'm using this for my 2020 planner, I'm going to be doing the pen test in the back so that I can do the yearly calendar in the front. These are the pens I'm going to be testing, and the first lucky winner, and gets to be the header, is the Tombow Fudenoski something pen in the hard tip. I also forgot to mention that one page is 24 by 35 spaces. The next pen we're going to be testing is the Mild Liner. Honestly, my favorite. I use it all the time in my journal, so I'm just going to go ahead and test it to see if it bleeds or if it goes. The next victim of our pen test is the Crayola Super Tip. And if you've ever watched uh, my previous videos, you would know that I use this all the time. I used it a lot in my August plan with me. And it's really nice for calligraphy, and we're going to see if it bleeds. I also did three layers, two, three, just to make sure that you guys could layer it without having to worry about it bleeding through. And as you can see, there's nothing. It works, and you can't see anything on the back, which is awesome. The next pen we're going to be testing is the Pentel Food Touch, um, Food A Touch, and I use it all the time um, in my notes, I use it for headers, and usually it bleeds through a little bit, so um, hopefully it won't bleed through this paper, and we're just going to test it out, 
and we're gonna go over twice just to make sure and let's see if it bleeds wow nothing whoa who would have thought the next pen we're gonna be testing is the Tombow dual tip brush pen these are really popular and um, really good for calligraphy but as you can see when you do the downstrokes um, it gets pretty inky and sometimes it can bleed through pages so we're going to test to see if it does on this notebook we're also going to be using the bullet nib for the swatch because it's just easier and we're also layering it multiple times on the right so let's check <gasps> nothing whoa i mean at this point i don't think anything's gonna bleed through so the last brush pen we're going to be testing is the sepa brush pen it is pretty thick and i use it mostly for months in my bullet journal spreads and I'm going to show you a comparison between this paper and the other paper when I use this pen. Okay guys, sorry, I didn't realize my phone actually ran out of freaking storage. So I um, deleted some stuff and finished doing the SEPA swatch and the pigment liner swatch. And as you can see, there's none on the back. And as I said earlier, I'm going to show you the comparison between the Suki journal paper and my normal bullet journal paper using the SEPA pen. I used the SEPA pen for the October header, as you can see, and um, when you flip the page back, you can actually see like a little, um, a little outline of it because the paper is only 120 GSM, but this is 160 GSM and you can't see anything, which is what I love about it. So finally, we're going to test out this Muji gel pen. It's in 0.5 and obviously it's not going to bleed through, but I mean, I thought, why not just go for it? So yeah, I'm just testing it out and the paper is really smooth so it writes really nicely and the ink dries pretty fast. So those were all of the pens I tested and as you saw, none of them bled through which is amazing. So as I said earlier, we're going to be doing a watercolor test and I just have my watercolors right here and I'm going to go for like a greenish blue color scheme to match all the pen tests on the left. And I was thinking of doing like a little watercolor circle that's like a bit splotchy with a quote on top. So some things I noticed while doing the watercolor was that it dried pretty quickly if you did like a thin layer and it was a bit difficult to re-wet the watercolor and I was scared it would make the paper pill which is like when it gets those little bumpy things on it so I just went really light with it and it was able to hold up to the watercolor and there wasn't much um, like bump in the paper afterwards after it dried which was really nice since the paper was really smooth, it didn't have that traditional watercolor like paper texture experience slash feel, but overall I thought it was fine. Like it's um I'm gonna be doing more watercolor in the future. So I'm excited for that. Okay, so it's finally dried. Well at least it's mostly dry. I got kind of impatient, but it's good enough for now. So we're just going to go in with this Tombow um, hard tip brush pen and do a quote and I was like, what quote should we do? And I thought, you know that quote in the back of the journal? Why don't I just do that? So we're just going to be doing this, meet me in the moonlight where thoughts are etched in the dusty sky and hopefully it'll turn out okay. Um, hopefully the paper doesn't rip because it's not completely dry yet. So that'll be like another test.
looking a little empty on the bottom because I have problems with spacing. So I decided to draw a little moon because it's like the Suki journal, which is like moon in Japanese. And then I would do some little star doodles on the side and let me just tell you, it looked pretty cute. Oh my gosh, wait, actually, oh, this is so cute. So now that we've finished with the watercolor and the quilt, let's take a look at the back to see if there's any like bleed through. And obviously there isn't, the only problem is in that top left corner, but that's just because it wasn't completely dry yet and because I was impatient. But once it dries, it's gonna end up like this spot right here and it's gonna be completely fine. So this is um very different from when I tried to watercolor in one of my other journals, um, my very first one, which is this one because uh, it was a very unpleasant experience. The paper was really thin and it didn't hold the watercolor well and it bled through to the back, which I hated. And then, so I was like, I'm never gonna do watercolor again. But now that I have this new Suki journal, I'm excited to implement it into my spreads and hopefully you guys will see more of it. And I'm excited to do it. So yeah, now that we've finished this bullet journal review, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll have the link down below if you want to check it out. They're also having a Black Friday sale. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have this video out by then because I'm very slow and am horrible at editing, but hopefully it will be. I also pinned my nails to match the cover. It's quite nice. And then, yeah, uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, well, I'll see you later next time. Bye.